okay, let's try this for a third time. Information from the Sumter County Sheriff's Office about uh, golf carts and low-speed vehicle rules and regulations and the law. Seems like there's a lot of controversy about uh, what you can and can't do. I don't know where the art information comes from, but when I try to get the real information, I go to the source. I don't listen to what Joe Blow's got to say because Joe Blow probably got it from somebody that didn't really know what they were talking about either. How many times have you heard it? That if you if you're 14 years old. Or younger, you don't need a driver's license to operate a golf cart. You're allowed to cross roads that are 45 miles an hour or less. I can't think of some other rumors you hear about here. But I've told people a lot. Do not turn left from a golf cart lane. They do it all the time anyway. It's all for your safety. You know, nobody wants to go to bed at night knowing that they hit somebody and killed them or something. Uh, First thing is uh, driver's license and do you need one? We'll do that. 14 years old for a golf cart. They're not allowed to do it. 14 years old in Florida right now, you're not allowed to operate a golf cart, period. LSV, slow-moving vehicles, um, not allowed to operate those either, period. 15 years old, for a golf cart, they must have a learner's permit with a licensed driver sitting next to them. An LSV, a learner's permit with a licensed driver sitting next to them, just like if they were getting their driver's license in a car. 16 to 17-year-olds, licenses are required for a golf cart, and for an LSV, obviously, licenses are required. 18 year olds and older. Now, this is where it gets kind of weird to me. For a golf cart, if you're 18 years old or older, you do not need a driver's license. But if you're going to operate an LSV vehicle, you do need a driver's license. See what I'm getting at? 16 to 17 years old in a golf cart, licenses are required. But if you're 18 years old, it's not required. I, I just don't understand. Somebody will have to explain that to me. Golf carts may not cross over or drive on Highway 27 and 441, County Road 466, County Road 466A, or any other road with a posted speed limit of 35 miles per hour or higher. 35 miles per hour or higher, not 45. LSVs can operate on a road whose speed limit is 35 miles per hour or less not 45. Golf carts must use the transportation multimodal trails adjacent to El Camino Real, Buena Vista Boulevard, Morris Boulevard, County Road 466, and County Road 466A. These roadways can only be crossed by a golf cart by using the marked tunnels that go under the road. See, so when you think you can shoot across the road real quick to get to a shopping center, I'm just saying don't get caught. Unauthorized crossing locations include, but not limited to, any point along US 441, State Road 44, and crossing from Pinellas, this is a famous one, to the Penrose Place. I put out a video warning people that there's a cop now. He sits up there and he's patrolling that stoplight. If you cross that road in your golf cart and he's there, you're going to get a ticket. The only exceptions are the golf carts can cross as El Camino Real at the traffic light between Enrique Drive and Botello Avenue. In addition, while golf carts are not permitted to travel on Rainy Trail or County Road 472, it's the same thing, they are permitted to cross between Lynn Haven and Miona Shore Drive. LSVs are permitted to travel on Rainy Trail since the speed limit is 35 miles per hour. So LSVs can travel on Rainy Trail because it's 35 mile an hour, but golf carts can cannot so you know just little things like that but you learn that if that's your area you'll learn that as time goes on it is is nothing to freak out about on streets within the villages with a posted speed limit of 30 miles per hour or less golf carts should be driven in the marked diamond lanes or along the right hand edge of the street if there are no marked lanes and most generally anymore other than the straight line the white line that separates the car lane from a golf cart lane we don't have the diamonds much anymore they pretty much wore off there are probably a few of them around but not very many do not allow anyone to ride standing on the back platform of the vehicle please keep your arms and legs in inside the vehicle at all times the worst thing that i've seen people do around here for some strange reason is they take their dogs on a leash outside the golf cart and drive the golf cart down the road with the dog walking either just ahead of the golf cart or next to the golf cart now how lazy can you be and that dog can get run over and i'm not even sure but i think that's against the law if needing to make a left-hand turn while traveling along a roadway with an adjoined cart part signal 
and merge into the vehicle lane before your left hand turn do not turn from the golf cart lane let me repeat that again because people seem to argue about this do not turn left from the golf cart lane that's common sense when making a left-hand turn after signaling your intentions carefully merge with vehicle traffic just prior to the intersection anywhere signage or road marking provides such a direction golf cart traffic should also merge with vehicular traffic golf cart should yield to other vehicular traffic in all cases golf carts and llc's are not permitted to travel on sidewalks or along a county or state road right of way that means if you're going down say 44 you can't drive your golf cart down the grassy part next to the road and then cross over somewhere that's you can't do that legally though you get caught they'll arrest you and i actually saw two guys get arrested and they may have even had their golf carts towed in Golf carts are only authorized on roadways designated by local government as golf cart accessible. Multimodal pathways are private property and used at the discretion of the villages. They are not going to give you a ticket. They're not going to monitor your speed on that golf cart path that's not part of a roadway. It's private property property the only time they'll be over there is if something happens then they have to investigate it and they will be over there and then they may even issue a ticket for something over there but if i'm doing 25 mile an hour on the private property that's like me running 25 miles per hour in my my yard here they can't do anything about that i'm just saying i'm not saying you should do it i'm just saying they really can't do anything about that but once if they follow you once you come off of that park path and get on a golf cart path where you're sharing the roadway with somebody else you may want to look over your shoulder. These guidelines are provided to help you enjoy using your golf cart and keep you and your loved ones safe. Please remember that your golf cart was not designed to share a roadway with larger vehicles such as cars or trucks. In the event of a collision, you have about as much protection as if you were riding a motorcycle. That's that is exactly true. A golf carts are not safe at a crash. There is no crash dummy for golf carts. Seat belts are not mandated but highly recommended for golf carts but help limit serious injuries sustained when a golf cart driver or passenger is ejected resulting from significant trauma i'm just going to throw a little humor in here most of the people that get ejected from golf carts is because they're drunk <laughs> so yeah you know tie them in with a rope so they can't fall out Golf carts and low-speed vehicles must follow the same traffic laws as cars, including regulatory signs and the use of direction and hand signals when making turns. The operators of these vehicles can be issued a traffic citation, just like you would when operating your automobile. These citations carry fines and points against your license. A golf cart is defined as a motor vehicle that is designed for operation on a golf course or for sporting or recreation and not capable of exceeding 20 miles per hour. While the operation of a golf cart does not have to be a licensed driver if 18 or over with a valid ID, those under the age of 18 must possess a valid driver's license or learner's permit and abide by the same learner requirements. A LSV may not travel in excess of 25 miles per hour not 35 you'll hear that a lot lsv may operate on streets where the posted limit is 35 miles per hour or less 35 miles per hour or less not 45 lsv can also cross roads that have a speed limit greater than 35 miles per hour straight across they can do that the operator for an lsv must be a licensed driver lsv must have a registered license plate and must be insured the lsv must be equipped with at least the following safety equipment seat belts windshield mirrors horns headlights tail lights stop lamps side reflectors a parking brake turn signals and a vin number well i hope that helps The laws have changed in a lot of ways. Some of them have, some of them haven't. But that's just the update for 2024. For those of you coming down this summer to visit grandma and grandpa or mom and dad or whatever the case may, and you want to have some fun, you bring your children down here, just remember this 14-year-old law is new. Uh, You just don't want to get involved with it. You just don't. So just stay safe. Keep the kids safe. Have fun. Beware. See you on the other side. Don't leave that kid in the golf cart.